Hello Tourist Hello everyone, my name is Grego Horat and welcome to our new episode Surfing the Elite Waves where I will look at some of the most interesting developments for this week. This video has been brought to you by Orbex. I will look at the S&P 500, Kiwi Crude Oil, Dollar Knock and Euro Pound Cross. Now, as you know, stocks has seen a very strong reversal to the downside over the last few days, mostly driven um, by this hawkish fat. So, um, they were, were Paul was very clear they want to stick with the hawkish um, policy they will be looking for higher rates in the future to bring down inflation close to two percent um, so this is something that waits on the market we are seeing a very interesting sell-off but at least for now it's very hard for me to say that uh, we are headed to the downside into the much sharper sell-off in this risk-off environment or that we are headed back to the upside. I really want to see what or how the price will respond in this neutral zone. Notice that this structure is still in free waves from the highs, right? So this can be either way for if we see a bounce back towards 4200 so this will be my next confirmation if we see a rally towards 4200 then i will immediately turn bullish on the s p 500 and then we could look for potential dollar weakness um, uh, against different currencies if we will see in the next few sessions an overlap with 3950 then obviously this will mean that this is not the way for and that most likely we are headed to the downside and in such case we should be looking for stronger US dollar. So as you can see it's very important for me to see the response in, of the price action in the next few sessions to make sure what I should be looking for. Okay so it's a do die zone but if 3950 is overlapped it's very important to understand or to know what we should be looking for then i think that we could actually be even retesting these lows from june before market may stabilize also keep in mind that we have non-farm payroll support on friday and if we get bad data but fed will still remain hawkish okay then this is actually it's a bearish case scenario for stocks when you have bad data um, meaning that economy is not doing well um, but you you are still um, remaining hawkish, meaning that you are actually not um, looking to support the economy, but rather the opposite. So this is the worst case scenario for for the S and P 500 that could happen. So it's very important to keep an eye on data because if there will be bad data week after week, we know that recession can be approaching, especially if Fed will stick with the current plan uh, to to remain hawkish. Um, so as i said long story short 39.50 below that watch out for more weakness for bullish case we need this upper trend line broken to make uh, to look higher for a wave five and then this whole cycle up from june will likely suggest that risk on is back now let's take a look on kiwi so if we see 39.50 if we risk off will be still here then commodity currencies obviously will stay weak so what i would be looking for or pay attention on is probably on kiwi now kiwi here uh, could be in very late stages of this very complex correction deep correction but still i can count this as a potential wedge here with a fifth wave in progress so 78.6 percent is the next potential support it was also some swing low here back from 2020 my levels so maybe this is going to be retested before market turns to the upside especially as i said if the s p 500 would make that overlap uh, because obviously then the risk off would mean that dollar is much more attractive so looking at the short-term outlook well if that's an ending diagonal or a wedge we need three waves in lead each leg so ideally this is now wave b still only second leg within ongoing weakness for wave five so um, i would definitely not be surprised to see a revisit of this uh, july lows especially because this rise was clearly made by three waves as you can see here on the four hour time frame um, <clears throat> so if we want to stay bullish us dollar watch out for this pair because i think it has the most clear very clear price action i should say now let's take a look on dollar uh, sorry on crude oil first so what is going on on crude oil well crude oil has seen a very deep retracement um, there will be some reforms 
um, uh, by the uh, European Union um, to trying to stabilize the energy prices. Um, however, this may not be such an easy task. So uh, I just trying to more focus on this poor price action because I can see that no matter what they do, I mean, there's still um, crude oil is still very high. There's still um, I think that bullish case valid as long as we are trading above $80 per barrel. There is still very big uptrend that could resume. And looking at the price action here back from uh, March of this year, well, clearly I can count this as a corrective movement. It's just healthy correction within a higher degree uptrend. So we'll see if European Union will be successful trying to bring down the prices and even inflation. Uh, but for now, looking from an Elliott wave perspective, well, this was a very nice and important wedge here that was bottoming. We are seeing a very nice breakout, even push above 95 swing suggests that trend is turning. So it can be something similar, like, but the opposite direction, like we have seen and tracked back here in June. If you were our member, then you know that we've been also analyzing this reversal pattern back then. And you can see that there was a sharp sell off. Uh, in weeks ahead so maybe there's the opposite reaction playing out right now the opposite pattern also watch out for more upside in fact i can count five waves up from the recent lows now these five waves up actually suggest that this could be a leading diagonal meaning more upside could follow after a pullback in wave two or maybe even just wave b uh, but in either case i think that there is room for even for a push above 100 possibly towards 104 105 dollars per barrel so if crude oil is really going to see more upside uh, what i would be looking for is maybe canadian dollar could stabilize after recent weakness and dollar knock maybe could see more uh, downside as well i really like dollar knock uh, I mean, despite all of those dollar bulls that we have recently seen, dollar knock is still doing quite well. In fact, it's trading, um, it looks to be trading bearish after this uh, turn down here from July uh, highs. You can count five waves down as an expanding diagonal here. So maybe more weakness will occur after a free wave rally. So I think that this free wave rally could still be underway. There is a very nice potential resistance zone around 10 which is also psychological round figure. Plus, it's the 61.8% is the former wave 2 and you have also wave C that equals to wave A in that area. So if we can see jump into this zone, I think that this could be quite attractive for potential shorts while the market is obviously trading below that high here. If we see a straight move to the new to new low and a break of this 9.4 uh, support, then obviously this will mean that bears are just very very strong because bulls will not be even managed to make this pullback towards 10 level okay so i think that dollar knock is bearish even if we see um, some sell-off on stock market dollar knock could see uh, more gains here but it may stop at this resistance so no matter how i look at it i think the dollar knock has a very nice beautiful picture now uh, for the bearish trend now looking at um, maybe some big chart here notice that i can also count five waves down here from 2020 pand pandemic high um, followed by this very nice deep correction it came back to this uh, resistance levels and now we are trying to to turn to turn to the downside maybe even some maybe not the perfect one but bearish hand or head and shoulders top formation here could, could be forming as well now in the right shoulder so we'll see how this will unfold but as i said i really like dollar knock how it currently looks and now let's take a look at the final market today which will be the euro pound now uh, as you know bank of england was the first one maybe not the first bank uh, but uh, they admitted that they are afraid of this recession they see the risk of the recession and that's why uh we do not see any kind of a optimism regarding pound um and um it's very concerning when you see pound coming down even versus the euro which is also in a very uh difficult situation so looking at firstly on a higher degree time frame chart i will look at the daily here uh, i can very nicely count five waves down here into this march levels march lows um, where we were looking for a reversal or for a limited weakness i should say because of this multi-year uh, multi-year support zone notice that i'm tracking potential wave b correction and this wave b came back into this 2017 
2020 low. So since market responded quite nicely with a rally away from that level, I think that we should respect that potentially we could try to build the base here and that market could be headed higher to, from the lower side of the range. So looking here at this, at this uh, daily chart, well, this bounce came out of this uh, downward channel. So normally this is indication that low can be uh, in place here or at least temporary one since market should make three waves after a completed of a five wave structure so this is still only the first lag okay and you are now uh, you have now seen the second lag meaning we should be aware of a wave see maybe even wave three rally so i'm looking for more gains um now normally wave uh, my minimum projections will be that I take the distance of this first leg and project it from the end of a wave B or wave two. And you can see that this is then a target around 08850 around there. Okay, so watch out for potential more upside here on the Euro pound. Now looking at uh, the short term picture uh, to show you where the invalidation of the current intraday outlook is, it's most likely down here, okay? And this trend line. So as long as we're trading above this trend line, okay, and above, um 84 84 50 la zone i think that this uh that this pair has a chance to see more more gains okay Torres, thank you very much for your attention i hope that you enjoyed this video and again talk to you soon bye